sola, oh di sola, oh oh rani do you baby, you see baby, oh la rode. I am so young, oh ya to shake your body, do I do? I do you hear me, oh boy, just do. Hi beauties, welcome to another vlog and this is a very special vlog, it's so special to my heart. It is the video where you guys see all the behind the scene, the glam session, the rush, the I don't like this one, I like this one, the let's do it this way, let's not do it this way, the tears, the laughter and all the banters behind getting ready the morning of my wedding day. So let's enjoy this vlog together. Watching everything again is just so much of emotions and I am so glad that Aisha helped me capture it. Like you guys are not even seeing, you guys are seeing basically maybe 50 to 60 percent of what happened on that morning. So I am going to give you guys a backstory of everything that happened. If you're new on my channel, you're welcome and if you're an OG, you already know how it is. Please do not forget to click the subscribe button drop a comment and give this video a big 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 thumbs up if you enjoy it which i know you will do i am adoni a content creator based in abuja nigeria and this is my wedding glam video <laughs> so on this particular day we had planned that we we're going to leave the house to the apartment where i would be getting ready by 5 30 in the morning but guys we went to bed so late the day before the wedding which i don't advise but honestly i am not sure you can escape it so we went to bed most definitely before 12 but maybe we didn't sleep before 12 you know all the emotions gist and all of that packing and making sure we don't forget anything that is meant to go to the apartment where i was going to get ready the next morning so we left the house the morning of my wedding myself my auntie my sisters and it was such a beautiful drive down to the apartment where i was getting ready we got to the apartment checked in and was was i nervous i don't know honestly i i was not nervous because i had the people i wanted around me at that time so i started getting ready at about seven o'clock and we were already one hour behind the schedule and the thing is we actually met the makeup artist and the brother assistants there like they were already there we kept them waiting which makes me so much appreciate the fact that we worked with a lot of people that knew what they were doing with professionals i'm going to make a video where I talk about all our vendors if you want me or if you have any question please leave it in the comment section the lady who made my make who did my makeup is bella by line i'll leave a link in the description box and she was actually a very pleasant so she was not the person i booked for my makeup i got a number 24 hours to my makeup to my wedding day because the person i had booked the lady who made me up for my legal wedding called in sick at exactly 24 hours to my wedding. Less than 24 hours, she sent me a message. Someone sent me a message on her behalf that she was sick and she was in the hospital and I should please see this other makeup artist and do. And I'm like, <gasps> So fortunately, I was at an event on that Friday, my cousin's Lima, and I just spoke to my bridal assistant. She was actually a very, and she was like, oh, that she knows the lady. And I think a few minutes after she came to me, and she was like, oh, the lady has called. And I was like, okay. So I go, don't worry, she's good. She knows what she, she's doing and things like that. And I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> and honestly, she slayed my face. I had no regrets. And thank God, the previous makeup artist actually reached out to me after the wedding and explains to me what happened and i actually understand so i am happy that is just it i got my makeup done i looked beautiful and that was just it so honestly the thing is vendors are also humans so just reason with them um so the previous makeup makeup artist had briefed bella what i wanted 
and she did a perfect job <coughs> and the Gileadist came in when we were like almost halfway done with my makeup and I was just trying to explain to her the type of gil I wanted like I was really particular about the kind of gil I wanted and she kept showing me like the things she has done before it took all four of these ladies to convince me to go for the gil style that we went for and the lady who came to install my hair also had installed my hair and left after she was done with her own job she actually did the installment <coughs> of my hair before we started my makeup I'll put the details of every one of them in the description box and the makeup artist okay so the makeup artists have worked with the gilly artist before so they kept telling me oh this is this the v-shaped gilly will actually look nice on you i also showed them like previous gilly that i had tied on my face and i just wanted i, I just wanted a perfect gilly that was just what i was trying to achieve <laughs> and i'm glad i listened to them and the gilly came on nice i'll leave you guys to continue watching and i'll be back with some more narration So everyone kept asking me what I wanted for brick banks, but the truth is I do not trust my stomach enough to eat something heavy on this morning and what I really wanted was pap but then again imagine me taking pap on my wedding day wouldn't I be feeling the need to go to pee at every second but guess what I had I had fruits like a full plate of fruit that was all I had and I had coffee thank you thank you Bella if you are ever watching this you made me a cup of coffee like I don't know maybe because it's my wedding day this lady was so patient she was so patient and honestly she's a professional that's all I, I can say she helped me with everything she could help me with and she just kept you know saying she was just calm that's just it. like she was just a breath of fresh air that's it and we didn't we didn't meet before that day we met the morning of that day and that was it and she did her job perfectly well let me just tell you guys makeup artists and um, daily artists they will definitely give you suggestions but it is very good if you know what you want i knew i didn't want my hair out in front of like my head you know this trending style where your wig is showing in front of your hair i knew i didn't want it like there was no way anybody could make me want it i knew i didn't want it but this lady that made my gele ifunaya she knew she was like okay no problem if that is what you want we'll find a way around it and you'll get it and guess what i got what i wanted so i remember when she wanted to shift the gilly back she kept so she gave me a mirror and kept saying i should look at the mirror to be sure that my gilly is where i want it to be and it was where i want it to be my sister-in-law came in like later to like check up on me and <laughs> The thing is, before the wedding, I've always said I want to get ready alone. I don't want anybody to be where I will. I don't. That. You see, everybody was there. That was where uh, my cousins got ready. That was where my mom got ready. That was where my sister-in-law got ready. That was where Aisha got ready. That was where. My husband and his groomsmen later came to join us at the place because of pictures. Because left to me, I would take almost half of the day to get ready. So they had to come over there. 
like that was just the best option get ready together in the same place my sister had to go back home to get ready guys what just just oh my i look so beautiful my sisters had to get go back home to get ready and like to help put other things in place but one thing i am so grateful for is the fact that my mom and my husband was in the same apartment with me so we're able to get pictures together i didn't get a lot of pictures with my sisters and my aunties which is sad but they had other things to do which was also important and this was me just basically feeling myself i look so beautiful guys i look i look so gorgeous thank god thank god for this beauty because what and this was bella teaching me pose and all of that guys i had all the posts in my head i had all the video all the distance in my head but i i don't know did i forget was i living in the moment but thank god i shared my phone i was making all these videos from because now when i look back at them i'm just like oh my god oh my god you're such a gorgeous 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 lady anywho so we started taking pictures the makeup artist and the gilly artist needed to take picture for their brand before the videographer and photographer had to come in and you know they were working with my husband and his groomsmen doing pictures was also taking videos and pictures of my shoes my purse ring and you know all of that i will insert pictures of all of that and details of my accessories at the end of this video so you want to make sure you watch up until the end okay right <laughs> So I'll leave you guys again and I'll be back. So at this point we were done with my makeup and i honestly honestly love it it was everything i envisioned i remember telling the lady that please i want to be able to recognize myself after everything and that was what i was able to do so everybody was trying to also for pictures and videos for their brand i was not wearing i was not going to wear a traditional bead with my outfit but one way or the other they needed me to wear these pictures which did i didn't i like i didn't even see any picture with me of this like when our photographer sent in pictures at this point our photographer and videographer were also making videos like our official videos and our videographer and photographer guys the two minute teaser video that our videographer sent to me oh my god like i it's so beautiful guys it's so beautiful my pictures my pictures are so beautiful the full wedding vlog i don't know when it should be out because i am not the one like the official official taking game, game vlog is being done by our videographer and it's also been edited edited by our videographer so that will actually take like it will take a time but it's on it <laughs> it's on it so at this point they had gone so the black tea 
it's actually the tea I had. The tea in the black cup is what I had. This transparent one that our bridal assistant went to bring. I don't know. So it was just for aesthetics. I didn't drink it. Okay. Like that's another thing you need to be careful of. You have to know what you're eating, what you're drinking. And I'm just so grateful to God and thankful that the people around me were also very conscious of that fact. And this was the point where I was asking them if I needed to drink it. And they were like, that. no, please don't drink it all. That's like, just for pictures. It's just for aesthetics. And the pictures, the pictures, the pictures will be on Instagram. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. Okay. I honestly look forward to the videos, like a proper full video. Imagine the video cover telling me that a video is about to us. I'm like, huh? Also, another thing is like choice of song and all of that. So the editing is actually going to take a while, a long, long while. I can't remember what was funny here. I think the way I was, yeah, the way I was staring it because I'm mean, teaching me to just you know go softly and not make the sound, guys. It was such a beautiful. So after the videographer was satisfied with the pictures and videos that they had they have from me before dressing up now I got into my beautiful clothes. And remember after the other someone was asking me if my clothes is a show key. Yes it is a show key. And the lace part is um a, a French chantilly lace. <laughs> there's actually a lot of story be behind my clothes this is a, like i made not even i made it because i didn't have the intention of making two different asha okay okay the first tailor that was meant because she's actually a tailor not a designer the first person that was meant to make my asha okay ruined it she ruined it and this particular one that you guys are seeing was done in less than four weeks guys less than four weeks and it's absolutely stunning stunning and the highlight of this dress for me was the neck the neck i knew that i don't want my neckline to show but anyways that is another gist to be in the vendors video by god's grace and this was the moment my mom was really praying guys there was no way i wasn't going to cry like the prayers were deep I, cry, I cried, I grew. I don't know if that's the word. But it was such a beautiful and emotional moment. And I'm so happy that we actually had this moment because man it's 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 different now looking back at it. It's it was so beautiful, it was so emotional, so so beautiful. I'm actually my mommy's girl. <sighs> 
Imagine me crying and being still, still being conscious of my makeup because Bella had done a good job, although she was still around and she was able to like touch up and all of that. Thank God. Because imagine she was, imagine she had gone. She was still around and she was able to do touch up. God bless her. Really. God bless her. <laughs> See, my eyes were so red. It was such a beautiful moment. I'm not going to lie. Beautiful moments that will forever, forever, forever cherish. And the thing about this morning, I feel like I, I have been saying this in, after the wedding. For me, it wasn't just about the party, it was the moment, it was the things that people around me did for me. See, the way I stood up like I said, nothing happened. You are a liar, girl. Grand. Um, in all of this, my mom and I had made a bet that we we're not going to cry. How silly of the both of us. Thinking we weren't going to cry. Me, I knew I was going to cry anyway. She thought she wasn't going to cry. So, for me, it was really what the people around me did for me. Like, there are so many special things that happened this morning and even like our wedding week that will forever leaving my head like it was it's just you know the sacrifice having to turn back and there are people there before you say something everyone knows what you want like it's such a beautiful moment like especially the morning of my wedding like the morning that morning was, that morning has been living rent free in my head and i honestly don't want to lose that memory like it's right there in my head i don't want to lose it and of course my mom also had to go for touch up for her makeup her makeup was done by Ruthie's makeover Ruthie is the lady that did my introduction makeup is actually stunning she also did my cousins and my sister-in-law's makeup who else she also did Aisha's makeup she did Aisha's makeup first because 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 Aisha was helping me with um, videos she had to make sure that she was done like she has to be the first person to get ready and her makeup actually lasted all day so I don't know this this is like the, I have so many things to say but I just want to say thank God for my family thank God for my people thank God for my tribe thank God for everyone around me I'm so grateful like I can't and will never forget everything that happened on this day in the morning from everything and this was the moment my husband saw me for the first time like this was him just seeing me that day like his first view of me so that is so stunning guys so beautiful anyways we'll look forward to the wedding vlog thank you guys for watching and please please do not forget to subscribe so i forgot to mention we had our pictures like we had videos pictures pic like we had about an hour for just our own pictures and then my sisters can imagine just see the blessing god gave me my sisters they are such a blessing and we did this um video thing that we wanted to do i honestly just look forward to when the videographer will send the official edit of this picture of this video it's really really beautiful these girls were on their feet all three days my sister my younger sister said at some point she was walking barefoot around the wedding hall imagine I'm just so grateful for them, for everybody, my cousins, my auntie, Aisha, even my younger cousins, everybody was literally on their feet, like, very few people did not cry on this day, very few people, very few people did not cry, anywho, I'm so glad, I'm so grateful, God bless my wedding, God bless my marriage, God bless everyone around me. Well, I find it difficult to squat. Being safe. And guys, you see this our photographer? This guy is actually a comedian. His details will be in the description box. He did an absolutely wonderful job. He is such a vibe. Like, he is actually a vibe, vibe, vibe. This guy, there's no way, there's no way you be around him and not laugh or smile. And he, like, it got, it took so many pictures, guys. So many pictures. And I'm so grateful we actually did. So we have like 
<laughs> I have so many pictures, so many pictures like pre wedding, dinner, traditional reception, this one, that one. Anyways, I'll see you guys in coming vlogs. Thank you, 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 thank you. And God bless my family. God bless my family, real good man. God bless them. Open the door, but one thing's certain, I'll always